was a fail so I told you guys that I would redo it I mean that was ages ago but I'm finally gonna redo it and this hair growth challenge I'm gonna be doing a little bit different because I'll be cutting my hair yeah so I'll be cutting my hair and the reason why I'm gonna be cutting I'm not cutting like a lot but I'm just gonna be cutting the the hair because the ends of it look a bit crappy. And I just wanna do the hair roll challenge on healthy, fresh and healthy hair. If you're wondering about my hair right now, it's wash day. Today's my birthday. Hey, give the video a thumbs up for that. And also wish me happy birthday in the comments below. I mean, like, guess how old I am too. Yeah, so today's wash day, that's why my hair is looking like this. It's pretty huge because I stretched it out. Yeah, so I stretched out my hair without using heat um, to do, why did I stretch out my hair? Yeah, I stretched out my hair to do a video, so that's why my hair is looking like this. But if you guys want me to straighten my hair, leave some good heat protectants in the comments below so i might do it it's either i straighten my hair or i just do a blow up so let me know in the comments below what you want me to do and yeah let's just cut this here right now so um these are the hairs that i'll be working with i'm gonna be doing the hair growth challenge as how i normally do it which this is if you guys want to see the other hair growth challenges that i have I think I have like three or four. I'll leave them in the description box below. And if you have any tips on how you want me to do the hair growth challenge, leave it in the comments below. I mean, don't be going all attitude and everything and telling me what to do with my hair. But if you have nice tips, I would appreciate them. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna measure the hair before I cut it and after. I mean, do you see the reason why I'm cutting it is because they look so dead. <laughs> and I think they look dead because I'm always sleeping on the sides of my hair. So the ends of it feels gross. And I don't like, so I think I would cut like up to here. I just don't, I want this part to be gone. You see what I'm saying? I just want it to be gone. And it's the same for this side as well. I just want to cut it up to here where it's more fuller. If you get what I'm saying. Hopefully you're seeing this, you know. Yeah, so it measures 8 inches as you can see right there. So this side is the left side of my hair and it measures 8 inches before I cut it. Alright, so this is the right side of my hair and I'm measuring from 0, but right where my finger is, that's where the piece of hair is. It measures 6.5 inches before I cut it. So this is the left side of my hair and as you may be able to see, you may be able to see, um, that the fuller here starts from here and stops right there so that's where I'm gonna be cutting and it's my hair you can't tell me what to do with it too feels way better hallelujah Okay, so I cut that piece off here. This is how it's looking. It is feeling way better already. And I'm also gonna measure it so we know where 
I'm starting from. Yeah, it looks like five and a half right now. Hopefully you can see that. So the left side currently is five and a half. This is the left side of my hair now. It's underneath my jawbone. Yeah, that's where it is right now. And it looks and feels way better. Way better. Way better. Now for the next side of my hair. I'm telling you the ends of my hair feel so disgusting. And it's most to the side of my hair. Side of my hair. So for this side of my hair, I'm probably gonna be cutting to right here. To right here. I'm just gonna be cutting where the hair is more fuller. Ugh. Gross. Almost five inches, a tad bit above five inches. Okay, so this is how the sides of my hair are looking right now. They look way much healthier, way much healthier. The ends feel not rough and gross. <laughs> yeah. So this um, right side, it also reaches um, below my jawbone, just like the other side. Yeah, just like the other side, but this side is like a little bit longer. So it reaches all the way down here. And this side is a little bit shorter see what i'm saying it's a little bit shorter yeah anyways they look healthier they feel way better now so what else i'm going to show you about this hair growth challenge is um the products that i use and i'll be using the same hair growth mix that i created in my previous hair growth challenge where i mix all three hair growth oils together to see if they would make my hair grow um faster or you know if they would at least grow my hair yeah so that's what i'm gonna be doing and before i apply the products i make sure my hair is clean i wash deep condition moisturize i do all of that good stuff just to prepare the sides of my hair and i don't use any other hair growth products yeah now as you know i also keep these sections of my hair twisted even when i wash it just to not get, let it get mixed up in the rest of my hair i keep it twisted for 30 days or um six weeks so for this hair growth challenge i think i'm gonna keep them twisted for six weeks and a lot of you might think that's easy but it is not easy to keep these here from not getting mixed up because i constantly have to make sure if i see it slightly um unraveling i have to twist it back right away right away when i'm washing it i have to be gentle so it doesn't unravel it's not easy yeah but that's how i do my hair growth challenge just to be a bit accurate i'm not gonna do my entire hair i don't have time for that i just want to test out parts of my hair okay so i washed my hair and as you can see the hairs that i twisted they're still intact they did not unravel i tried not to touch them too much but i still deep condition and shampoo them but i did it in the gentlest way possible so the next step that i do is pretty simple i just take my favorite moisturizer um which is the eden body works natural pudding souffle this one and i use that to moisturize my hair so my hair is already wet so i normally moisturize my hair when it's wet or damp and then what i'm going to do is follow up using the hair growth mixture that i created so if you want to see how i created this mixture it's pretty easy as long as you have the products you can create it yourself or you can create whatever hair growth mixture you like but this is the one that i'm going to use i use three hair growth oils and then I'm gonna use this to seal in the Eden Body Works just to keep the sides of the hair moisturized um, for a good period of time. 
So that's what I do. So I'm just gonna take like a little bit of the Eden Body Works and moisturize it from roots to ends. Especially my ends because they get crispy sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So I try to moisturize it. And then after I do that, I take um I take a little bit of the hair growth mixture and I add it to the scalp and I massage it in and then I bring down the rest I get a little more I bring down the rest all the way to the ends make sure it is nice and nicely coated so I make sure the hair is nicely coated and this is how it's looking and it feels good I love oils. I don't know about anybody else, but I love oils. Yeah, it feels really nice, and I don't need a lot. That would be unnecessary. So, um, the other steps that I do is I try to do this probably three times a week. It's based on how the hair feels, you know, because if it feels like there's nothing in it, then I'm going to re-moisturize it, add more oils, add more of the oils and so forth. So this is the moisturized here and I try to keep the twist as tightly as possible so it does not unravel. Okay so six weeks from now would be October 31st and then eight weeks from now would be November 14th. So I'll see you guys back in six to eight weeks to see the results of my hair so if you want to see these results please subscribe give the video a thumbs up leave your comments below if you have any suggestions on how I could do my hair grow challenges um yes I would appreciate them in the comments below so thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you in my next video bye I've been thinking I've been thinking about you one night long in the morning, in the 